Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Elemento Innocence. Last we left off, giant boulders of deathly doom. Oh, and I had just got a max heart increase. Which refilled my heart, which is probably the best part of it. There we go. Anyways, we were in the ghostly theater trying to figure out how to net, net the next box. Which is going to be a trifle bit difficult, probably. Maybe. It could be. You guys don't know. Well, some of you probably know. Some of you probably played the game before. Ha! Ah. Gotta hate these things. I mean, they're nowhere near as bad as the Astral Warriors. But they're definitely a pain in that they move through stuff and they. Well, they move through stuff. They move through stuff. Okay, I got that. Uh. That was miraculous. Ha! Ugh, oh, I hate when they do that. And they move through stuff. Okay. Try this way first. Oh yay! Spirits! I love room pass. Spirits in them. I suppose this is quite like the... Oh, what's that? That looks... Aroma Earring. The essence calm... Uh, the wonderful scent calms the mind and increases intelligence. Eh? Gonna have to be a little bit more precise on what that exactly does besides increase intelligence. Because uh, I have no clue what that actually means. I suppose I could look up in my game menu what that actually means. Does it just straight up increase the damage that I do with my magic -y attacks? Wait, 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 wait. What does that do? It increases intelligence. Yeah. And it's like, okay. What's intelligence supposed to do? Holy water! <laughs> Not so holy water. Axe! Let's see what's through here. Oh, right. The way I was coming. Well, going. Rather. <sighs> la, 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 la. Just, you know. Doing that. Oh, come on. Am I seriously gonna have to? Yep. Looks like I'm seriously gonna have to. Alright. Unless I can just. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Leon, for demonstrating how much of a stupid room this is. Wait, is that the way I fall? Am I able to fall down this way at all? Okay, I am. Stupid room. Wait, when do I use a high potion? Whatever. No. Damn it, Leon. Cursing your goddamn weapon. Why the hell couldn't you have grabbed your sword? You know what? I'm gonna do all of you a favor and probably just get to that dark room that I'm supposed to be at. Because there's no new rooms between here and there, as far as I can see. I literally have to go all the way to here in order to get there, so. Yeah. I'll go ahead and keep things that are new, but otherwise, I'll see you guys in a second.
All right, finally to this room of ridiculousness, where I apparently can only do. Is that even doing damage to me, or is that just there to piss me off? Nothing like 3D platforming with a... Nope. Uh... Well, this is stupid. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, oh, come on. This is the worst kind of camera to have in these sort of situations. This would have made... Oh, for the love of crap it. This would have made Dark Souls unplayable. Imagine, if you will, you had to play through all the game with one fixed camera angle in each and every area that you go through. Come on. Okay. Uh... Am I supposed to make some sort of leap of faith here? I was! And I did. Continues to be a rather stupid room. But a Singamon increases the usage time of relics. Neat. Pretty neat. In fact, I'm pretty sure that one of these accessories is going to be useless. Sacrificial doll? Not that one! Ring of Thunder? Probably. Okay, raises intelligence. I gotta figure out what it is that the raising of intelligence actually does. So you realize how stupid this part of the game is? I didn't really need a ring of intelligence to figure that crap out. I can't even grab the side of the goddamn places. Of the goddamn platforms. It's just, oh! You missed. Especially on times when I really don't miss. Like a lot of the times it ends up just being, oh hey, yeah, fell off the platform. How did I fall off the platform? I was, it was right there. Come on, just stay on the platforms. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's not the way to go. Let's hope I never have to go through, it, it's, it's too different. I actually need this. Uh, curtain time bell. The bell that don't denotes the, the start of a play. It will not disappear upon use. Probably in case I die or teleport out or something. Alright, so... Oh god, am I supposed to go all the way around again to that area and use the curtain time bell? Uh, no. no. Oh, come on. I was hoping you were going to be like that other stupid room. Okay. Game designers, this is not how you do this kind of Castlevania platforming section. Oh, my God. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go all the way around. Oh no. Actually, you know what? Let's try it over here first. The area with the ogre and the cyclops. Is that the least thin in there? It might be of use. Maybe. It's a possibility. I can freaking. But I don't have to go all the way around once more just to that other area. Probably wasting my time otherwise. But well, you know what? I might as well try it out and see. Because otherwise, I might be. Okay, yeah, this is the room. Yep, well, that happens. And where I apparently can't jump on the wooden platforms, otherwise, they break. Because that's the thing. Oh, this is 
this large room. Okay. Alright, so what was the clue? That's the encyclopedia. That's not my clues. The orb list. Item list. Item list it is. Alright. When the bell tolls thrice under the stage, the curtain will rise. But I'm over the stage. Do I have to do it down there? I'm adult, this isn't the stage area, this is just the area with those two. Ha! I missed them both. Apparently it does a significant amount of damage. Apparently they do a significant amount of damage. Yay for fire. Okay, so I do think that that item of intelligence raising does in fact make it so as I do a significant amount of damage with my circle, uh, my sub weapons. Which will be nice. Especially if this works against whatever the hell's in here. Alright, so... Yeah, okay. I am adult. Derp. Oh, this area's the stage area. I'd better ring the bell. Okay. Don't mind me. Just, uh... Going around, getting as many hearts as I can. Because I know that this is going to suck. Alright, under the stage, under the stage, no, um, what do then, am I supposed to be up there? doesn't seem to be another area where I should be ringing the bell. I'm doing something wrong. One second. Under the stage, the curtain will rise. Is this under the stage? I'm on the stage. But there is no under the stage. Not in this game anyways, right? There's only over. And there doesn't seem to be a way under. Unless I'm supposed to do something with those sofas. I'm confused. Oh, okay, sure. I'm so glad you're not hurt. I can't believe you're safe. Let's get out of here first. Yes. <clears throat> Who are you? Oh my. Too bad. And I thought this would work so well. <laughs> It was obvious that it wouldn't be so easy. I was going to let you die without any suffering because I liked the way you looked. Well, that's just too bad. Ah, oh, but I've changed my mind. Your face warped in pain. Just the thought thrills me. Oh, this will be lovely. Okay. 
I know it's a Castlevania game, and there needs to be like a succubus in each one, but I just have to say, breasts. Okay, that's out of my system. I think. Nope, that poison is gonna be annoying, annoying, ain't it? Ow! Ow! No tricks! No tricks! You got nothing but tricks, because you're a goddamn sucky bug. Ow. No tricks. You're the one with wings and summoning poisonous flowers and I'm just spamming you into a corner. Ow. Okay, let's man up a high potion now. Haha! -ha. Okay, um... Ow. 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 What happened to your new tricks thing? Frickin', frickin', frickin'. Let's not poison ourselves again. Ow. I don't know why I keep on saying ow. It's not like it hurts that much. You know, for a succubus, I thought that, you know, you'd like being whipped a lot more. Unless she's just one of those kinds that likes doing the whipping. Oh, you heinous... Oh, you righteous bitch. Oh yeah, says the woman that just tried to triplicate herself. Triplicate? That's the word, right? Haha! -ha. Eat! My! High! Speed it! Oh yeah! If I had known this would happen, I would have fought you in the guise of your loved one. Then, like that old man, you would have... Old man? You're talking about Ronaldo. What do you mean? That... that old man... Uh, uh, his own daughter! So just really quickly here first boss we had fought was this giant parasitus worm thing. The second boss was this giant golem, which was a cool fight, mind you. Our third boss was a vampire who is under the service of Walter. And now our fourth boss was a succubi. What the hell's next? A goddamn pit fiend? Goddamn. Well... I ended up using pretty much all my hearts, which sucks, because I really wanted to test out what the yellow orb now does, but, eh, can't win them all, I guess. Hey, Ronaldo, got some explaining to do. Ah, you did well to come back. Ronaldo, please tell me, what is it, about your daughter? I don't know what you've heard, but you don't need to know anymore. Ronaldo, you've helped me so much. The least I can do for you is listen to your story and support you in your suffering. Needless meddling. <sighs> Very well. I'll tell you. Story time. It was five years ago. A cold night, the full moon. I returned home from picking herbs necessary for the secret arts. And what greeted me was a sea of steaming blood. And at the center of it were the bodies of my wife and son. I could not believe my eyes. My daughter was there, laughing. Dripping from her mouth. 
She was turned into a vampire? That's right. By Walter. My daughter went out a window without even looking at me. When I recovered, I built the whip with alchemy. Then, I searched for her. I see. I've heard enough. So this is what you meant when you said you owed him. I challenged Walter, but nothing came of it. That's why I live here and help those who wish to fight him. I never would have guessed. Forget everything I just said. Think only of yourself now. He's not an opponent you can beat while distracted. No. You're wrong. What do you mean? The force of your grief can only make me stronger. Thank you. I am grateful. Do as you will. So now we're not only just Welcome. fighting for the sake of, Would you, like you know, today? killing the vampire and saving... Was that? And that saving all? Sarah, like? we're now fighting the vampire in Is order to like avenge, excuse me, avenge your Daldi's daughter, I guess? Is that all? I appreciate your business. Man, you live a sad life, man. Forced to, well, not forced, but willingly helping every single vampire killer that comes out here. Gave me a whip. It's a cool whip. And that's cool whip, not cool whip. Anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and up to save point, save. I hope that was a given. And then call it an episode and try to figure out where the frick am I supposed to go next? Because last I recall, I was completely stumped in where I was supposed to go with the rest of the areas, seeing as they're all, you know, blocked off and the like. Like, the only other area now is that... Actually, one second. I can get just enough. Might as well see what the Spirit Ripper does. Which requires two more. Well, that's nifty. I... I ought to figure that out what that does against actual enemies, but hey, that's a pretty damn nifty thing. So yeah, I'm gonna straight up look up where the hell I'm supposed to go, what the hell I'm supposed to do next, because I do not know how the hell to get through that goddamn garden. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.